Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching The Foster Season 3, Episode 11. I think this one is called First Impressions. Um, now, in the previous episode, Callie fin finally was adopted by the Fosters. Um, Steph and Lena had a talk about their relationship and um, the kiss and everything between Monty and Lena. And... Uh, I guess everything went okay with that. I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm a, assume they're going to talk about it in therapy. Uh, I hope they do because I don't think that it's quite resolved yet. But um, they were getting along at the end of the episode. So there was that. Um, we also, uh, Callie and Brandon, agreed to never talk about the fact that they had sex the night or a couple nights before she was adopted. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to work out. Uh, but as of right now, and forever, <laughs> in my opinion, they cannot be together. They are legally brother and sister. So, but I do think that the fact that they slept together is going to come back and bite them in the ass at some point. Um, either they're going to do it to themselves because they can't control their feelings or someone's going to find out and then all that's going to blow up um so yeah and uh i think that's i think that's about it i mean we also at the end of the episode um jesus is back and he's a different actor which i was already expecting because someone told me that um there was going to be a new actor playing the role uh, so, uh, I'm anxious to see if I like him or not. Um, it's going to be weird, uh, for now, I think, to see someone else playing Jesus, but I'm still looking forward to it. I'll get used to it because, you know, actors get changed all the time in shows sometimes and, um, and, and everything. So it's not like this is the first time I've ever watched a show where the actor was changed, you know, in the middle I mean, so we'll see what happens, but I'm looking forward to seeing his acting and I hope that he um, is better at conveying feelings, <laughs> like emotions that I didn't get from the previous actor. Um, at least I didn't feel them anyway. Uh, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, but if you guys like to follow me on Twitter or would like to get early access to my reactions or like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, the links are down below. Let's get into this episode. A second mammogram if they saw something in the first episode. Uh oh, signal. why is that showing at again? Away. Did she lie? The composer who will be performing at Disney Hall is Brandon Foster. Well, we're going straight to that, okay. Don't forget to breathe, because, you know, I actually, I threw up last night before the concert. You did? Yeah. <laughs> we killed it. This professor from Juilliard, uh, after the concert, invited me to uh, their final callbacks in New York. You're kidding. No. <laughs> oh, it's so a good thing. You, like, freaking out right now. Well, because I, I looked it up, and it's like 40000 a year, and that's just tuition. Uh, yeah. I, uh, talked to the funeral home and everything's taken care of. What? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Just whatever your grandmother's insurance doesn't cover, I got it. And you don't have to do that. No, I was spending one job. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, it's Foster. Listen, if you, um, <clears throat> haven't run the prints on that pen yet, uh, don't bother. Uh, the lead's right up. Okay? Thanks. Mm. He doesn't want to be responsible for taking his brother away, especially at a time like this. You look nice. Oh, thank you. Put that on for Monty? Uh-oh. 
I knew that wasn't resolved. Steph, we talked about this. You said you were okay with me going back to work. You remember what we said in the garage, no more half-truths. Yes, I'm sure. Insurance company is refusing to pay for my second mammogram. You are kidding me. Well, no, it's only $300, but with all of Jesus' plane tickets and... Mm -hmm. He's not going to tell bills, now. Just, you know, we're starting to get a little behind. I was taking a walk. This early? Yeah, you know, I'm just... <laughs> I'm still on East Coast time, so... And in your slippers? Mm -hmm. That's what's interesting. What are you doing? Yeah, I just... I forgot my comfy shoes. Is she hooking up with somebody in the neighborhood? Uh, insurance company doesn't want to pay for my mammogram. So. What? Why not? Well, because I already had one and they wanted to re-image. But, but it's fine. Everything's oh. fine. I'm fine. Please oh. don't make a big deal out of it. Oh, like I know wait a going minute, to do. Here sister. We go. Listen, you need a second no, opinion. No, it was a second opinion, Mom. That was, so... Uh, did you talk to the radiologist? No, I didn't. But you know how it goes. They read the thing and then the tech comes in and tells you that you're fine. And then I am. I'm fine. I'm... Hi. Okay, Hi. what are you doing there? Do you have a minute? I want you to know I'm not proud of what I said. Or did. But, um, mostly I came here to say, if you want me to resign from Anchor Beach, I will. I'm kind of conflicted. On one hand, I kind of want her to. But on the other hand, Steph needs to be able to trust Lena, you know? social workers to know what we're really going through when they're not living our lives. The only way real change can happen is if we demand it. What are you doing? I'm making posters for my campaign. Campaign? For what? Junior class president. Emma's my campaign manager. Really? Why would you want to do that? It's so lame. Hey Zeus, junior year is like the most important year for colleges. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Lexi? Lexi? I, I just talked to you a couple days ago. I'm back. We're back. What? How? We got our visas. And the first thing my mom did was call your mom to make sure that I can come back to Anchor You're Beach. You're coming back? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, boy. Two former oh. ex-girlfriends. Hey, Emma. It's like an ex-girlfriend convention in here. You want me to call <laughs> Haley? Come back? You have to tell everyone no, how they're selling No, keep Haley away from there. God. Foster homes. Yeah, I, I know about these places. Uh, my friend Kiara was in one of them. Then why aren't you saying anything about it? Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I need to steal Callie for a minute. You look like you might need a little saving. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I'm Justina Marks. I'm a foster care advocate. And I have a proposition I hope you're going to like. I have $50,000 I'd like to invest in you. Huh? We both have decided that it would be best if you stayed. Really? Yes. But I want to be really clear. We are not friends. We are colleagues, nothing more. My wife is being incredibly understanding and trusting, and I think the least we can do is respect appropriate boundaries. Absolutely. You're taking everything, huh? Well, he's moving, so yeah. I'm gonna be back in a month to see my dad. You know, school's not gonna be the same without you. Nothing is. It's sad. I'm sorry, okay? I want to stay. Really, I do. But you gotta understand my dad. He's never gonna change. I mean, he doesn't know his dad won't change. See, Mike? Uh, no, he went to get coffee. You wanna uh, get this to him for me? Yeah, sure. Oh, shoot. He did yeah, the fingerprint, didn't he? He told me not to bother, but I had already run the prints. Turns <sighs> out they do match the ones from the SUV. <laughs> So it looks no. like maybe you got your guy. Whose parents are on this pen, Mike? From Mission Beach Elder Care, huh? Is it AJ's? Is this where his grandmother is? Is that what you were telling me to let this go? No. Because tell me. No. Steph, it's not AJ. It's his brother. It's his brother, Ty. You planning on burying this, Mike? Look, Steph, we don't know anything for sure. No, 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 no. These prints match. We have a witness who can ID him. I'm kidding me. What about AJ? I'm just getting through to him. He's starting to trust me. What do you think is going to happen if, if I arrest the only family he's got left? What about my family? Our family. All the people you love. Jesus and Mariana, Anna, the baby. What about all the pain they've been through, Mike? This is so hard. I don't know what I do. Can we at least wait till after the funeral? Please? 
Look, it's in a few days. Nobody knows anything. You cannot tell AJ. He's gonna tell his brother and he's gone and you know it. I'm not stupid. Fine, I have to go. Ah, uh, so conflicting. So, you're not seeing Emma anymore? No. No, we, we ended things a long time ago. I'm not seeing anyone, actually. Huh. Oh, boy. Um, me neither. Good to know. See, the old Jesus, young woman. he would have jumped all over that. <laughs> certainly think so. Not saying he I, I won't, think but he didn't do it right then the and there. person the foster community has been waiting for. And I can get you in front of the people who need to hear your message. And I have the resources you're going to need to expand Fost and Found. There was this kid at the event today who's in one of those homes. Look, I know how hard it must be to have all these kids reaching out to you, hearing all of their heartbreaking stories. But, I mean, you can't trust every kid who comes knocking at your door asking for help. I mean, you have to be careful. Yeah, that's uh, it's true. I know that as there's just something about him. He, he reminded me a little bit of my brother. Give me his name. I'll make some calls. Uh, it was Jack Downey, I think. I'll see what I can do. Hey, Mom! She's sneaking off somewhere. Where are you going? <laughs> you startled me. I was just taking a walk. Another one? Gotta get my steps in. She's hooking up with somebody. So which picture should I use? Right? That, that one. one. The left one, definitely. You look like someone who can really get things done. Yeah, like put people to sleep. I say right. You look super hot. I don't think that you need to be silly and stupid to be sexy, but if that's the kind of campaign that you want to run, then maybe I'm not the girl for the job. I should probably get home anyway. She's right. I think I should stick with Emma as my campaign manager. Just Emma. I'm so happy you're back, but you know, I think it's best if I just have one vision, you know? Okay. Does she know this Jack character? Hey. hey. I need you to find out where Jack Down has been placed. It's important. I can hear you in there. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? Huh. What the hell's going on, Mom? Huh? This is Will, my boyfriend. What's up? Why are you hiding it? You didn't want us to meet him because he's young and hot? That's... Wait. He's not homophobic, is he? He better not be homophobic. Don't be ridiculous. I, of course not. I would never even date somebody. I, I would wouldn't like not. you because you're a lesbian. Actually, I was a little afraid that he might not like you because you're a cop. He's not a fan of big government or a, a, a big fan of government, period. He's just... Wow, my mother's dating an anarchist. That's brilliant. Well, what can I tell you? You know, the heart wants what it wants and the sex is just... Oh, his mom, blah, 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 blah. It's such a crude, yes, really heart, you Please, we need Stephanie. to make a decision about Jesus. What do you think? I think that we should make him go back, honor his commitment. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh oh. Oh, Mariana. So now, huh? I'm gonna kill Mariana. Mm -hmm. They said you're doing fine, better than fine, actually. Oh. So what the hell is going on? Some of the kids on the team take steroids, and they were pressuring me to take them too. So I did it for a few days. But I hated how they made me feel, and I stopped. But here's the thing, I can't go back unless I want to keep taking steroids, and I don't. So the only Why do you have to keep taking? Coach, and then I'm ratting out on everyone, and the guys on the team are going to destroy me. Well, so I guess he's going back to, uh, going back to Anchor Beach, huh? No, he's not. There's a waiting list, and he's not on it. 